Hier komt Bob Roll, de Amerikaan, binnen. Uh, for American fans, historically, we have a few wins in the Giro. In the women's Giro, Mara Abbott has won twice, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, and, and she's still racing. So, Mara Abbott, two wins in the Giro d'Italia. And uh, to learn about her story and her successes, you have got to include the Giro Feminina and Mara Abbott, one of the greatest climbers uh, in the history of professional cycling, has won the Giro twice. The only American male to do that is uh, Andy Hampston, um, and that was back in 1988. And I thought it would be instructive, perhaps, to tell that story because the Giro is oftentimes plagued by bad weather, but never. <laughs> Never has it ever been as plagued as it was uh, covering the Gavia Pass in the 1988 Giro d'Italia. Uh, we started that stage in Sondrio. It finished in Bormio. Uh, there was a couple of climbs before Paso Gavia. And it was snowing pretty hard at the top of each climb. It was a freezing rain to start the race. And uh, Andy was a lot cleverer than I was. I was like, ah, oh, a little rain, a couple of climbs, you know, it can't be that bad. But Andy understood that if at sea level, <laughs> in the start town, in Sondrio, it's freezing rain. Once we get up to 8,500 feet, it's going to be hammering snow. So Andy made precautions to get some warm clothes to the top of the uh, Gavia Pass. Uh, he also gave Mike Neal, the team director, uh, who remains the only American, Direttore Sportivo, to guide a squad to a win in a Grand Tour, uh, some extra clothes as well. And Andy was spectacular on the Gavia Pass. I tried to help out as best I could, um, but when we got to the bottom, uh, Ponte in Legno, I believe, is the town at the bottom, and started to climb. It was a dirt road in those days. I mean, it almost immediately it started to be snowing. Uh, and by the top, th there was a five feet berm of snow that they had to plow in the morning a few times to clear the snow out of the way. And it was a whiteout at the top. It was absolutely blizzard-like conditions. Um, I didn't make any precautions. <laughs> Uh, for such abysmal conditions and I started the descent uh, on the climb I felt okay you're you know you're climbing at a slow rate of speed uh, you're generating warmth because you're burning a lot of calories so I felt fine on the climb uh, I went over the top in the top 20 riders and I thought well oh, I got 30 K's of descending going great how bad can it be in about 500 meters I was already in pain after just one kilometer I was shivering so bad, I had no idea how I was going to make it off the top, but I kept trying, kept plowing forward. I was riding well, so I was pretty confident that, uh, that I could make it to the bottom, but after a few kilometers, I was completely shattered. I was, I was borderline delirious. Uh, when I got to the finish line, finally, I was totally hypothermic. Um, it took a long time to revive. And uh, with the help of our team doctor, Massimo Testa, and a bunch of cups of espresso, and a huge bowl of pizzocchetti. Pizzocchetti is the pasta specialty of the Bormio area. I revived myself, uh, but Andy Hampston got the pink jersey that day, and we defended it all the way to the end. It was the greatest achievement of Team 7-Eleven, uh, at least of the races that I was a part of. Uh, it was our only Grand Tour win. It's the only American man to ever win the Giro d'Italia. Uh, it might be a while before another American male does so. <laughs> Mara Abbott might keep winning it for the next five years amongst the women, but uh, it was a great honor to be a part of the 7-Eleven team win at the Giro d'Italia in 1988. Uh, and it's really, really been cool for me to see Americans' appreciation of the Giro continue to grow over the years. Tour de France is a massive worldwide event, but the Giro d'Italia is something to take a look at also. I hope everybody enjoys it. Please share your comments. Um, and you got to keep the subscriptions coming. I appreciate those. I'm over 5,000. Those go a long ways to help me keep doing these videos. Thumbs up. Follow me on Twitter, Facebook, be well mechanical doping, <laughs> making the rounds again, uh, going viral, Adrian Costa, if you remember, 
uh, the object of the latest rumor about mechanical doping. If you remember uh, just one, the Tour of Britannia, very 